Would you like to? Do you know where Sarah is? No. Right. Okay. Do you know anything about what happened to her? I know that um, she went missing up in um, London somewhere. Um, what, what, about a week ago or so. Uh, just from what I've got on the news. Okay. Have you ever personally met her? No, not personally met her. You had any interactions with her at all? No, uh, why would why, why, why I have personal interactions with her? <coughs> well, it's very difficult because I can't go into a lot of the evidence because obviously that would be quite, that's not part of what an urgent interview is, okay? This interview is just about trying to find her. Because sure. she's been missing for a while well, now. I'm, I'm sat in handcuffs and I know her, so you must have something to say that I, I know her. Well, I said, you've been arrested on suspicion of kidnap, and we believe that you've been involved in her disappearance and taking her away from her family. Okay. So we are trying to find her. Obviously, everybody is very worried about her. She's got, you know, parents, she's got, a, a, you know, she's a kid, she's got a boyfriend. There's a lot of people that care about her. Um, sure. If you've sure. seen her on the news, there are other people that, you know, reach out about her. Sure. Out there looking for her every day. And she's missing. And it's our job, our primary job here is to find her and to try and find her at the safe and well. Okay. Now, we believe that you know something about where she is and that's why we're here to look for her and to try and find her and that's why we're talking to you now is to try and get you to like, have a good think about it and you know, tell us anything you can about where we might be able to find her. Okay, um, well, I am in financial um, and I've been um, lent on by, um, I don't know who they are, they're a, a group, a gang, whatever, um, and they told me why I need to go and pick up girls and give them to them. So um, I said, what's happening? Um, and it then came through that they're going to harm my family, take them away, and they'll use them instead. Um, at that point, I had no option to try and find somebody. So, I don't, um, there's, there's a couple of names I was told a place to um, take her. That's it. That's all, that is all I know. <coughs> and to this group of people. Tell me about them. I need to find them. Tell me everything you know that okay. I that you'll help me. There find. was a white sprinter van. Um, they, um, uh, it was between sort of Lennon, Maidstone area that I got her off. Um, I still don't know. I, I, I don't know. They, they just, I, I just um, parked my car up and then the van come up behind me, flashed me, and they all jumped out. Um, and then they, they, they took this girl. Um, they said, they said, You've done good, and I don't know if my family's going to be all right still. But they they threatened they threatened to take my family away from me. So at that point, I'm I'm doing what I can to protect my family. That's it. So all I know is that it was a roundabout. I, we could drive there now. I could show you, but I, 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 roughly I don't know. Lenham Maidstone area at all. If we um, did it on Google, if we did it on Google Maps, like Google Earth, if we drove it, would right. you to do it? I drove from Ashford to Maidstone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.